Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 139 of Fallout 4. Our last episode, we added crops, defense, light, things like that. Re relocated some turrets. Oh, can't forget the water purifiers, which I should put some lights over there just to make it look fancy as fuck. But uh, I, I like—I really—it's I, so small. I said it last time. It's so small, and minute. But I like the way the lights show up over there. Just the, the, it, it makes this place feel alive. It's pretty fucking cool. So, let me look at the lights for this one really quick. Was there any, like, standing lights that are okay and not stupid? Uh, I don't need a fucking strobe light. I mean, the construction light's the best one. Could you do something out of curiosity? Go to, like, wood, go to miscellaneous, maybe? I almost want to think, like, a fence post, but I have to like, get power to it. I was thinking about putting, like, some kind of, like, light set, set up here. And I don't really want to. I don't really want to run a generator through it, so it's probably not going to happen the way I, I, I would like. I, I could do like a wall. I could do. I could do walls, put generators in the middle of the walls for the hollowed out part, and then like light on each side. That would work. But I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll try out of curiosity because I've not done one of these. I don't think I have. It requires so the, the difference between this and this. This requires one unit of power. This requires power. This doesn't require an actual draw. It just requires a connection. But this requires a draw. So this would require a generator. Versus this would just need to be hooked up to something. So if I am to use this, I'm going to need to power it with a generator. And in the interest of science and learning and being curious and all that jazz. Yeah. What he said. Let's just see, how much light does this provide? I mean, not, not, not much. <laughs> not much. Uh, I can't say I'm overly impressed. It's, it's okay, I guess. It lights it up a bit. Uh, maybe it'll look better high up. Let me rotate it a wee bit. I know it looks just bananas up there. It looks stupid. Doesn't The light doesn't appear to be reaching. I don't know. That, 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 seems, that seems a bit useless, but we'll keep it for now. Might as well. Um, before we leave, in the interest of keeping their happiness up, which, if you look at their happiness, it's at 78 and it doesn't have an arrow. So I don't think it's increasing. I like how I can put Edotronics now. They, they, they added quite a few decorations in one of the recent patches, which is very nice. And a lot of flags and stuff to work with that weren't there. Um, um I think under paintings, is paintings added up a jillion paintings. Very happy that they added some of these things. Just varied aesthetics that you don't need to rely on, like, a mod for. But let's put some paintings throughout here. Interested to see if, again, happiness starts going up like I would hope it would. That's sort of what I thought paintings were for. I know a lot of chairs and stuff, like furniture, is for happiness. But I want to see if we can just put some paintings on the walls because they don't take up space. I mean, they take up space, but they don't take up space on the ground. It's basically like me placing objects. Let's find smaller paintings. Uh, that's, that's a good one. Is that rotated the correct way? Yes. So I, don't, I don't see happiness going up, but uh, I don't know if this is going to have a direct impact immediately or how this is going to totally work. Uh, sure. Uh, are you anything? No, I can't even interact with you. You're just, like, utterly broken. I mean, we could make this the NPC hotel. We could relocate the beds. It's not a bad idea. Oh, we got another settler, I think. I think we were at 12 earlier. Uh, four coverings. Why don't we put, like, a doormat here? Man, we're just getting dapper as fuck. Let's find a bigger doormat if there is one. That's not exactly the doormat I'm looking for. And that's more of a that's more of an indoor rug. Yeah, we're just getting fancy. We're just getting fancy, aren't we? <laughs> Unnecessarily so. Before I do, hold up. Doors. What are doors under? They're under under furniture, right? Miscellaneous? I mean oh I I guess never mind, that makes more sense. They're the under structures. Uh junk what? Wait what? Oh, I went to doors, but it okay, glitch the fuck out. Whatever. Can I snap a door here? You seriously cannot snap a door to that? I call shenanigans. None of these doors are going through. Can I try to place this? See, here's where placing red is going to fucking come in handy like one day. I mean, like, that just makes complete and utter sense, you know? But the game won't let me. Unless I built my own... <sighs> Ruining the aesthetic game. Thanks. Uh, um... <laughs> Miscellaneous. Uh, let's go back to not miscellaneous. Let's go to. What was, was it? Miscellaneous. No, it was decorations. Duh. Floor coverings. All right. So floor mats. Uh, one that's not folded over. It looks dumb. I guess they're both the same. 
same size, that is. So we'll put you uh, right there. There you go. <laughs> it's, I, I haven't seen happiness change, which is kind of annoying. Eh, it happens. I might move these generators up on the roof or something. To be real with you. Sure, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put another one here. I see the one right there, but we'll put this one... This one, I don't, I don't fucking know. This one's a dumb folded one. I don't like the one that's folded over. It looks, it looks kind of half-ass. Let's do this one. It's a different one. Sure. She's like, this has got a door. Why, why, why can't I, why can't I do my own door? Yeah, this makes me sad inside. Furniture. Or I'm sorry, structures. I don't like. Uh, I don't know. I don't agree with this placement. Can I, can I put a door here? It snaps. All of these doors snap. Motherfucker. <laughs> do I want? Oh, I can't put it that way. I guess it would make sense to put it this way. I'll do a screen door, because this place is just always accessed. You know? Whatever. Oh, we'll do that. Motherfucker! You can put a door there, but you can't put a... D what? Who who decides these things? Who decides these things? Snap, damn you. Is it because of this? Please tell me it's because of that. <laughs> I'm dying inside. You know how cool it'd be if I could put doors in all these places and just... Ugh. God. It's the little things. It's the fucking little things. Alright, it's enough of that. So this place is lit up. And this place has got quite a bit of light. I haven't lit up the interior of this place, but I haven't really given it function. I think we're okay for now. We're not going to go too ham with settlement uh, building. It, this, was, this is more of a run to make things functional again. Let me store any junk I may have and probably have to get rid of quite a few things. I don't have merchants here, and I don't think this is going to be my main base anymore, just because we're never here. It's a nice little setup. And it's mine one of these at the agency. And it's far away. That's the problem. So let's scrap all of this garbage. Make sure we don't get rid of anything useful. So again, I think our main settlement is going to be more centralized than Sanctuary. Sanctuary is great and all. It's a pretty decent place to build. It's got quite a bit of land to work with. It's be serious. It's got quite a bit of area to, to use, which is cool, but its positioning being up north is less than stellar. Now, if you were using fast travel, I think this would be just about a no-brainer, because it's kind of out of the way. I guess maybe it's less likely to come under attack. Those are floating, by the way. I don't know. But, because of the way we're doing it, you no know, fast travel, it's not going to happen, so we can't rely on that. Do I need to, like, get rid of these crops? Do I want to store them? They do me no good. Yeah, they do me no good. We've we've put crops somewhere else. So, let's store them. Tab... Tab and E. <laughs> don't accidentally adore, please. Don't accidentally adore. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't, don't want to touch those. Let's just face this way so we don't <laughs> interact with all the gates and stuff. Is that Sturgis? Yeah, that is Sturgis. Because we decked Sturgis out in armor forever ago. We haven't been able to see the man's face in how long? <laughs> I can't tell who's under there. Uh, that and that and oh my god, I got so much of this. I should do the world a favor now that I think about it. Get rid of these. I'll lower our water supply, but I really want to purely rely on that stuff. Purely purified. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just sort of happened. So now they should all get assigned to the crops over there. And, or maybe somebody will end up being unassigned. I don't know. I may have to reassign some things. Let's get rid of these. We have plenty of crops over there. More than enough. I mean, like, see, like, he's only doing one. I think he needs to... I think he needs a refresh. Like, come over here. See, the food value went down two, but now it's going to go up six. So same with her. Uh, yeah, it's it's okay. just... She sounds like Marge Simpson, I swear to God. That, that, that's that, that voice. So they, they should all go over there. Let's quick save. Ring. Ring, I say. Uh, sleep for a little bit to let it become day. Interact with the settlers, see what they're doing, make sure everybody's doing food before we head out. Nick, that was creepy. Don't don't be standing there when I wake up like that. So a sign. Let's just check all your like your scavenge. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like all of you are assigned to capacity. I could be wrong. Maybe there's just maybe there. No, I mean like you're not doing potatoes. That'll go down. The food value went down one. Now it's going up six. I think I have to just reassign these people. Tell you what. No. It would make a whole lot more sense. Ring the bell over here. Ring that bitch. Alright, everybody get over here. Come on. You. 
Okay, I'm going to look at you as you come over here. You only have... Actually, you have a couple crops. You're assigned. You're assigned. You're assigned to plenty. You're doing one for shame. Got a storm coming in, it sounds like. You, Marcy, you're the evil lady that nobody likes. I think you're only doing one crop, so let's correct that. Find something unassigned. Our uh, free value's going up, so I think it worked. Uh, let's see. You're, you're scavenge, again. You're good. You're good. Good. I think we're better. If nothing else, let me just tell you to go to a different crop. Got it. Uh, I think I just told her to go and not do something. Command. Sure. I think I was looking at the ground, not a crop. Command, and I, I want to see the food value go up a bit more. I just don't feel like everybody's doing what they should be. Okay. <laughs> All right, see, the food value is still going up. See, there was something not quite right. Uh, what are you doing, ma'am? I see two or three crops that you're assigned to. I, again, I don't think you're, tax, you're tasked to capacity, Got it. which is what I have a problem with. Food value would go up. Keep going. Is he going to stop? Remember, in increments of six is what we're looking for. So you're good, you're good, you're good, you're you're scavenging. I think for the most part, let me refresh Mama Murphy's task. I feel like we have enough settlers that they should be able to do all these crops, but they're not. Uh, her food value went down six, so I did Mama Murphy's. It's just a matter of finding the settlers that aren't doing their job and reassigning them. Um, before we go, though, let's quick save. I've been asked, told, <laughs> requested. Seems to be growing well. Hey. Hey. Hey, old lady. Ma'am. Or that jet we talked about, kid. Why did you need jet again? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Here. One hit of jet. You did good. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. You're on the trail of the man who took your boy. I see a house. Locked up tight. Chains put on by a smiling shark. But there's another way. I can see it. A key, lost and forgotten, fallen down below. Search the chairs beneath the house. They hold the secret. Phew, wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Alright, so Valentine just like that, obviously, but he's going to be following us for a while, and you should be happy about it. Now, he should get over it, but did that tell me anything to do? Look for the... Uh, I don't know if that gave me anything new. Look for the stash of chems. I don't think that... No, that wasn't Thomas' voice. That's not her quest. It updated it. She was talking... Still ain't perfect, but we're surviving. Let me talk to her again real quick, though. <gasps> Mama Murphy. Got a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these Mama Mama Murphy. Ma Mama, Murphy. For me? Mama Murphy is a mute fruit, mute fruit bush. Can't you just use any chair? The sight's been real exhausting lately. Got aches and pains. Even when I'm lying down. I know it's odd asking for a fitted chair in this day and age, but it really helped me out, kid. <laughs> Mama Murphy, the mute fruit push. <laughs> sure, I'm glad to help. Thank you. Build Mama Murphy's chair in sanctuary. So I'm. Oh, oh, it comes up on special. I, I would assume it'd be under furniture, but Mama Murphy's chair. Build this chair for Mama Murphy. So I should put it out in the rain to be a dick. Nah, I'll be kind of nice. We'll put it in our little workshop. She can sit here and... <laughs> okay, completed. Now do we just talk to her or do we have to assign it to her? The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it 
rarely lasts for excitement. I used to be quite the adventurer when I was younger. Now these old bones just sure, can't keep up. Sure, just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. No one's talking I'm to you, you ungrateful cunt. Hey. Aching too much to talk too long. I should sit down. So it looks like she's just straight up beelining it towards the chair. All right. Well, let's see what happens. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I know. I'm the one who made this place. So work the fields and get my mute fruit and my corn and my potatoes so I can make adhesives. Not so you can eat. So I can make adhesives. I gotta do something with all these stupid feral cool corpses. About to make like a garbage bin and start dropping corpses down in it. <laughs> I could go throw them in the lake out there too. Then you never see them. Not a uh, impossible thing to do. I told you sanctuary would grow. The sight never lies. Mama Murphy. I'm all right, kid. Just need to take it easy before using the sight. Tired. The sight takes a toll on you. Come back later. You need to rest before the sight can help you again. Mama Murphy. Tired. Now I'm making the assumption that I just need to sleep for a while or something, and then she'll have something to say. Now I'm not even sure what she told me to do there, because it like sort of updated, but I didn't get a marker. I wasn't 100% clear on her riddles, and I was mostly thinking about Valentine being stupid and disliking her, and how we'll have to solve the problem. But I don't know. I'm sure somebody will will tell me. I'll probably look over and see, read the uh, the pop up that came up on the left, just to see if anything interesting happened. But let me sleep for 24. See if we can talk to her. You know, just after this, I, I don't know. And apparently I'm not supposed to give her Psycho. <laughs> I wonder what happens if we ha if she asks for it. Like, can we still quote-unquote progress? Do we just tell her no? I, I, I don't know. See, Will she ask for something different? These, these are questions I don't have the answers to. I wish I could sleep 24 hours like that. You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. Mama Murphy. You need the sight? It's telling me Mentax will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny. So it's Mentax this time? They're good. More of a chem for scientists and tech types. But who's to say old Mama Murphy ain't a closet genius? <laughs> oh, God. Here you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. I can only see that you're on the right path. If you had any doubts in your mind, you shouldn't. The man you're after, he's the one. He wears all the pain he's caused like a shield. Be strong, kid. The sight's getting foggy, but your energy is glowing brighter than you know. You can win this. He can't hurt you anymore. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine, eventually. We're killing her with drugs if Valentine doesn't like it. This would be a better thing to do if we had Kate as a follower. I think she likes it when you give people drugs. Now, what was Foresight? Was that a perk? Or Foreknowledge? Kellogg does 25% less damage? <coughs> Spoilers! <laughs> what? That... That interesting to know, I I, uh, I guess. Hey. I'm all right, kid. Just need to take it easy before using the sight. Come back later. Need to rest before the sight can help you. Okay, again, making the assumption that I can just sleep this off. Yeah? Hey, you crazy evil lady. Um, Do I have any crappy weapons I can sell you? I want to keep that. A smidge you get rid of the fat men. She's probably not gonna be able to buy all those. I can lug for you? No. Let me see if I can sell this to her. Get some stuff. Don't run from me. I can't I can't run right now. Carla. Back again? Time to do business? How about you look at me when you talk? Let's see what you have. You break it, you buy it. Shut up, Carla. I thought we had something here. I saw I saw you at other settlements. I thought we were friends, but turns out we're we're not. Um, let's get rid of the submachine gun, and how many fat men's can I pawn off? <laughs> Not many. <laughs> They're worth quite a few. She, I mean, the dick doll we could do, but like, uh, 
I don't need the stim packs. We we know this. I don't need right away. I don't need purified water. I'll take the whiskey, the vodka, Red X, Nuka Cherry. I don't really need any of this stuff. Mute fruit, mole rat meat. I mean, I can cook with it. It's XP. Carrots, no. I'll take. The, I'm just going to take all the booze. Ramen meat, no. Bobby pin, I don't really need them, but I'll take what I can. I might just buy all of the junk she has. That sounds weird. Shipment of oil. i got to figure out how these work. Hold up. That will cost me almost nothing. And oil is worth a lot. So... Yeah, I can part with 102 caps. Now, how do these shipments work? Visit a workbench, power armor station, or workshop to redeem... Uh, that's okay. Okay. So, workshop. Transfer. N no. E? Is it just... Uh, just to, to redeem it. So, transfer. If I go to this and I store it, do I have... Well, okay, let me go to junk. Let me go to oil. I want to see if this just like increases the number or how this works. Because I've never bothered messing with shipments. Which I know they're, they're very useful. I just haven't messed with them yet. Oil, oil, oil. Obviously, i got to scroll quite a ways. I should have just did this. I passed it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, it's right here. And then, yeah, it'd be like right here. Uh, shipment of oil. If I store it, what's it do? Did it just put it down here? Shipment of oil. Uh, inspect? Huh. Huh. Let me put it in there. Is it a workbench power armor or power armor station or workshop to redeem your shipment? Well, it's in there. Did anything happen? Do I have to like craft with it or how's this work? Let's scroll up. Oh, I passed it. I saw it. Shipment of oil. Yeah, see, like, I, I, I don't know. I've never messed with these. So I can't say I know how. Inspect. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. And I need to figure that one out. Visit, a, it just says visit one. So, like, if I visit craft, is it... I, I see, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not very clear. It just says visit one. Okay, hello. I visited you. All right. Uh, anything under here? No? Resources? I mean, food miscellaneous? Like, you know, I figured maybe you just put it in there, you claim it, and it's delivered, or, or how the fuck that Can works. Keep going? I'll look it up. I don't sleep or eat or anything like that. But if you need to... But if you need to, it got cut off. What are we talking about? I can just keep it on me next time we go to a workshop. But we'll, we'll throw it in there, because, I'm again, I'm not sure how it works, but that, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, so we're all the junk, and let's see. What else do I have on me that's weighing me down? Probably a lot of crops. The fatigues, outfit, harness, get rid of that stuff. Oh, yes, if they're a pound apiece. <laughs> oh, no, they're not a pound apiece, aren't they? They're like 0.1? I wasn't looking. Yeah, those are a pound apiece. Um, oh, yeah, let's see, they're, they're point 0.1. Either way, that's a lot of weight. So, potatoes, yes. Whiskey, mute fruit, vodka. Um, scroll up a stick, I'll keep. I may have to, again, I have to give her some drugs here in a bit. Let's store the Mylark meat, the dog meat. <laughs> the dog meat. All the eggs are a pound apiece, I remember that. that. That's quite heavy. Hub flowers, ale, that, cram. All the stupid stuff that finds its way in my inventory. Now we're back to normal weight. And let's sleep for another 24. Continue to piss off poor Valentine here. Valentine, we're, we're going to be in a hole here. This is going to take a little bit to get his loyalty back because we're, we're doing this and it's pissing him off. I could just move him somewhere and I think we'd be far enough away, but he'd run back. Eh, I'm not worried about it. I think, we'll, I think we'll go over the threshold. It won't take too long. It's just, it sucks that we're, we're basically damaging our relationship that we just worked up by going to all the settlements and building and talking to people and helping them out. That's why he told us, I think, some of his backstory. I, I think with hitting up Red Rocket, Starlight, I, I think we'll make up for it. Either way, it sucks that we're <laughs> that we're damaging that right now. Hopefully, don't piss him off and he runs off on us. Like I'm done talking to you. You've changed. I've known you for like a day, man. Calm down. Huh? Speak up. Do we make her deaf? We're killing Mama Murphy, by the way. Mama Murphy. Come back for the sight. I need Med X this time. Another cam. Another window to look through. Why Medex? It's what the site wants. Medex is a painkiller. 
strips away a lot of feeling and lets you float out into the mystery of it all. Yeah, here you go. Oh, it just makes everything <laughs> feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. You're walking into a sea, but it's not water you're all afraid of drowning in. It's something invisible, but radiant. It burns everything in it, but no, I can feel them. There's people calling out to something, chanting. They can show you the way, but they're so hard to read. Be careful around them, kid. I can't. I almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh, heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest. Don't do drugs, kids. I am assuming she's talking about the glowing sea? Mama Murphy. Tired. Okay. Alright, well, let's continue to damage our friendship with this man here. What are you drinking? You, it would just fall through your neck. Don't do that. You're not fooling anyone. You're not fooling anyone. What is he doing? Think about that for a second. <laughs> he's not even he, like not one of the new synths, so, you know, it wouldn't... It just, it just He's not very human-like. I mean, he looks like one, but he's clearly a robot. Valentine, uh, I, I don't know about that, man. Uh, sometimes I wonder. <laughs> but yeah, this episode, Killing Mama Murphy, that's pretty much what we've done. Poor Mama Murphy. No, again, I don't condone the use of drugs, kids. Just, uh-uh. No, that, that, no. Not about that life. <laughs> it's a video game, so it's okay. We escape reality here. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, oh, hey, look, a rat storm. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Nice. But guys, it's time to wrap the episode up anyway. Episode 138, Sanctuary again, has gotten some love, headed to the crops, made some uh, assigned to people. They don't apparently mind the rats. They never did. I got rid of these. It clears up some space if I decide to do anything with it. Mama Murphy's chair has been made. She's been doing a hell of a lot of drugs. It's not really a good thing, but it's a thing. Yeah. By the way, since we're not making this our main base, I think... I think I'll steal the power armor suit and then bring it with me as we like we walk down south just to put them in one eventually centralized location that we'll always return to. I think it just makes a little bit of sense. But again, guys, wrapping it up here, episode 138. Thank you all for watching. And this kitty, we'll see you next time.